In today's video, I will be going for Final Fantasy VII Remake's Platinum Trophy. There are 54 trophies in total, and I'm going to be getting them all. The game wastes no time, and we're bombing a reactor in Shinra City. Shit, it's not called Shinra City. <laughs> we start the game in Chapter 1, blowing up a Mako reactor. And straight away, by killing my first two enemies, I get a trophy. I then get a trophy for exploiting an enemy's weakness. Humans do not like fire. Burn them. I then also get another trophy for staggering an enemy. Game is literally just like, take the trophies, just take them, just take them. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> get help. We then get Barrett as our first party member who has a gun for an arm. I love him, he's great. Just look at him. I then have to decide a timer for this bomb that we're placing and it doesn't make a difference. It's dumb, I don't get it. Since we're Giga Chads, we go for 20 minutes instead of 30. Pretty cocky, ain't you? And once set in the timer, we have our first boss fight, the Scorpion Sentinel. Attack its asshole. This first boss fight is actually really crazy. It's really epic. Just use thunder and make sure to heal and you'll be fine. Once beating the boss, we had to escape the reactor. We had a timer. It was going to blow up Metroid style. And then we then make it out and the whole place goes <laughs> and we killed a lot of people. We're terrorists. Thought we were the good guys. No, we're the terrorists. The bomb wasn't meant to like blow up everyone. It was meant to like just blow up the reactor. But then Shinra were like, mm, let's actually blow it up ourselves. <laughs> Chapter 1 done. Not much happens in Chapter 2 except that Cloud meets Sephiroth and Sephiroth shouldn't be here but he is here because this is a remake and we have to fight our way through the city and we meet Aerith. After fighting our way through the city we make our escape via train and then get the Chapter 2 trophy. So this is Chapter 3 which is where the game really opens up and there are side quests. Uh, the game becomes less linear and there's plenty of trophies for me to unlock so let's get the spread. We then start chapter 3 and meet the best girl of all Final Fantasy, Tifa. And throughout this chapter we have Tifa helping us and she is a fantastic character in this game. She's stronger than Cloud, she's fantastic. We then meet Chadley who is an android made by Professor Hojo from Shinra. He gives us challenges to complete so we can unlock materia and also combat simulators. We have to do them all to obviously get the platinum trophy. He also gives us one of our first side quests which I complete for a trophy. I then learn my first ability, which is when you unlock a new weapon and you use its ability so many times that you permanently keep it. I then also leveled up a materia, which got me another trophy. And throughout the game, we collect music discs. By collecting three, you get a trophy. I then got another trophy by freeing Tifa from an enemy. Ooh. Free a bound ally. Let's go. That's every quest done. And the worst thing about chapter 3 is that we have to do every single side quest so we can get this option here where Tifa asks what to wear for a night out. These options are very important for a really, really lame trophy that is much later on in the video. Basically, we're going to have to play this chapter three times, complete all the side quests three times to get every single option. It's trash. Then right before the end of the chapter, I played some darts and got the high score for a trophy. There we go. Finally did it. Jesse then asks us to help her, which then leads us into the next chapter. And then we get the trophy for completing chapter 3. In the beginning of chapter 4, we have to do this bike mini game, and there's a trophy associated to it. And I'm not supposed to lose a quarter of my health. This trophy is pretty hard to get on normal mode, so I decided to come back to it later on. We then end up taking on some Shinra mechs and soldiers, and I get my first summon. Ifrit. 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 I say Ifrit. It's Ifrit, not Ifrit. Ooh, my first summon. A guy named Roach then tries to take on Cloud, who's like a soldier, just like Cloud, but then uh, we kick his ass and he's dead. Whatever. And then Jesse tries to sex Cloud when uh, she needs to go to horny jail. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? We then rest up and then wake up the next day and there's all these whispers. They're like these unique enemy things to do with remake. They're basically like ghosts that make fate happen. So it's like if you try to change destiny, it's like they're like, no, we're going to make it. So it's the normal timeline. They couldn't just, you know, remake the game. They had to like change it. Then break Jesse's ankle and then we leave, heading out to the next reactor that we are going to blow up. Our fake IDs get us caught by security and we have to jump off the train and then make our way on foot. You okay? Yeah. And we take on this robot crab enemy and we kill it. 
And in chapter 6, I managed to find the Chocobo and Moogle summon material, which gets me a trophy. Nothing much happens in chapter 6, so I finish it and we move on to the reactor. We end up getting ambushed by Shinra, and we're basically going to be live broadcasted and executed by a giant robot. The cool thing about this chapter is that we can actually make the robot weaker. We can use these terminals with key cards to get rid of certain items it has. And right before we fight the boss, we can actually nab those items that we got rid of. And by doing that, that gets us a trophy. Yes. Oh. Let's do it. This boss is amazing. It's a, it's a battle. This is a battle. Yes, come. This is it. We managed to be it, and Cloud falls to his death, and that's the end of the game. Snake, are you okay? Snake, snake. Somehow Cloud survives by landing on flowers. How does? How he fell so high, fell through a roof of the church. And into flowers. How is he alive? He's actually a super soldier, like Captain America. But yes, we meet Earth again, and she's all into Cloud, and she's like, let's date. And then Reno shows up, and we have to take on Reno, and he's really cool, and we kick his ass, and he's got red hair like me. I've, I'm actually orange, he's red. Fuck. I managed to take him out with Cross Slash. Oh, yeah. And so it begins Aerith falling for Cloud, and Cloud falling for Aerith. But then there's Tifa, so it's a love triangle. Oh, no. And Aerith joins the party. This is another chapter that is a bit open with side quests. So the first thing I did was do a combat simulator challenge with Chadley, and we took on Shiva. By beating Shiva, got a trophy. Stop running. Oh no, not good. Diamond dust. This is bad. Oh! Okay, now we won, we won, we won, we win. We win. Summon Slayer. Then got a trophy for decorating the leaf house. After doing some side quests, you unlock this mini game where I need to complete for a trophy. And right before finishing the chapter, Rude shows up, who is a partner with Reno. They are part of the Turks. I love the Turks, they're awesome. We then get told to leave, so we sneak out away from Aerith, but she somehow finds us anyway. And then we get a trophy for beating the chapter. There we go. Thus beginning chapter 9, my least favorite chapter. Chapter 9 starts off with this horrible dungeon with these robot hands and it's so slow, I hate it. I hate it. I eventually make it through and Cloud's gonna go back to Sector 7, but then Tifa comes out of the gate, she's all dressed up. This is one of the dresses that we told her to wear, one of the options. We've seen her in one of her outfits, so that's like a checkbox. So now our current objective is to rescue Tifa from Don Corneo, who's like a pervert, like a pimp pervert gangster. But we can't get into his base. So what do we do? Dress up as a girl. So the first thing we have to do to, if we want to be a really pretty girl is to defeat the Coliseum, which includes probably the hardest boss up to this point in the game, the Hell House. But lucky for me, I took him down, no problem. As long as you have all four types of magic, this fight shouldn't be too bad. But after you beat the Hell House, you can actually go back into the Coliseum and do Coliseum challenges. So I went through his cloud and I got a trophy. And I went to the gym and I did some squat challenges and I got a trophy. Oh, Sultan of Squat. We then have this amazing cutscene where Aerith has her best dress and it's it's like, wow, damn, son, that's that's... Wow. And to get her best dress, you actually have to complete every single side quest in the previous chapter. And if you want to get her worst dress, you do no side quests. And if you want to get her middle dress, you have to do like three side quests. The really bad trophy is we have to get all nine dresses. So three dresses for Tifa, three dresses for Aerith, three dresses for Cloud. We have to replay chapter three like three times, chapter eight three times. We have to play chapter nine three times. It's a pain. It sucks. It's so, it's probably the worst trophy in this whole game. But damn, isn't Aerith pretty? <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing we have to do for Cloud to be a pretty boy, pretty girl, I mean, is have a dance off. And we get a trophy for being like dance kings, dancing queens, you know. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. I got a trophy. Dancing Queen. Oh hell yeah. But you're so pretty. We then make it into Don Corneo's mansion and he decides to pick Cloud. 
Of all the people, of course. Tifa and Aerith then are left with the henchmen, but they decide to say, fuck no, kick their asses, save Cloud. We confront Don Corneo, and he tells us that Shinra are going to flatten the Sector 7 slums, which is where Avalanche's home base is, our terrorist home base. And we're like, nah! But Don Corneo tricks us and puts us into the sewers where he feeds us to his big animal creature shark thing. We burned its ass, so like, it's dead. Now that we have Tifa and Aerith, it's like this little who gets cloud thing. We then make it out of the sewers and we end up in the train cemetery where it's all spooky and there's ghost enemies and And we get this amazing cutscene where Aerith is like, Cloud is mine, and Tifa's like, no, he's mine. Cloud's like, get the fuck off me. At the end of the chapter, we take on this ghost boss chariot wheel looking guy and Tifa's like, Whoop. Dragon Ball Z kicks him. That was badass. We then beat chapter 11 and get a trophy. We then make it to the Sector 7 slums and we have to take on Reno and Rude at the same time to prevent them from dropping the whole plate on our fucking town and it's crazy. It's an epic boss fight. Dead, 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 dead. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I went. We then learn that Aerith has been kidnapped by the Turks. So now our next mission is to infiltrate the Shinra headquarters. Sadly, we weren't quick enough and the plate falls on Sector 7 slums and everyone dies. They don't actually all die. In the original game, they all die. And with that, that is chapter 12 done. I then went for a miscellaneous trophy, which requires me to stagger an enemy and get 300% on their stagger bar. Since I have Tifa now in the party, this is the best time to get this trophy. And all you need to do is use unbridled strength two times with Tifa, hit triangle, Triangle again, triangle, and then use true strike, true strike. No! Do it, okay, okay, okay. Please. Staggering feet, let's go. And in this chapter, we have to play as Barrett and we fight our way through a secret Shinra facility underground, Sector 7. And uh, nothing much special happens. They fight a boss, yeah. They save Wedge, the end. Now chapter 14 is the last chapter of the game that opens up, so this is where you have to do all the side quests, all the mini games. First thing I did was take on Jules at the gym again, but with Tifa, and we did some pull-ups, and these pull-ups are- Those are proper hard pull-ups they're doing, like proper hard ones. Shit. My brain. Oh no. I redeemed myself, holy cow. My brain switched off there, holy shit. And I got a trophy. If you remember this minigame from earlier on, there's now a hard mode. All I had to do was beat it and get another trophy. Ooh, whack a box. And before we can finish off chapter 14, we have to go through the sewer one more time and fight the same boss again for this guy that's like looking for his girlfriend or something. It's, he basically needs to give us the grappling hook to get to the next chapter. Once he gives you the grappling hook, you can finish that chapter, but this is where you have to make sure you've done all the side quests. Okay, I've done everything, so it's time to move on to the end game. By doing all the side quests, Divine Gratitude, letter from the Guardian Angel. But then finish off that chapter, get a trophy. We have to make our way through the top plate. We can fight our way through it. It's awful. Shinra suck. We have a boss fight, get another trophy for finishing the chapter, and we end up in Shinra headquarters. We end up having to fight through all the security guards to get into the building. We then have to do some parkour with Tifa. We even have to climb 60 flights of stairs, which is hilarious because they end up so tired and it's like they're high from climbing so many stairs. It's brilliant. Another struggle. Stairs. So much trouble. But once we make it to the top floors of the Shinra headquarters, we end up going through like a little museum. We end up meeting the mayor of Shinra, which is actually a mole for Avalanche. I then find the final music disc, getting me a trophy. This should be a trophy. Eventually we fight our way to the top and find Aerith, and we finish the chapter for another trophy. And we also have a new friend, Red 13. And in chapter 17, we end up having to fight like a hundred bosses in a row starting off with Genova, and she's basically like The Thing. You know, the movie The Thing from the 80s, John Carpenter. We even have to take on the president's son, Rufus, in an epic one-to-one -one battle with Cloud. Screw this. Screw you. Hurry up. You're done. We even have a boss fight with Barra and Aerith straight after the fight with Rufus. There we go. And after that boss fight, we finally make our escape. We have to do one more bike mini game, which also included its own boss. And once defeating it, we're home free. This is it. This is the end of the game. 
But then Sephiroth shows up and he's like, I'm actually here, bitch. I'm the final boss. And you're like, what? This never happened in the original game. We then have to take on the Arbiters of Fate to defy our destiny. The remake is actually not a, a faithful retelling of the original game. They're trying to change it. They're, re they're remixing the story. That's the whole point of these ghosts. And they're the final boss because we're defying our fate. This is basically a new timeline. So like it's totally new from the original game. Once we defeat the Arbiters of Fate, we take on Sephiroth. We win! Yes! And with that, I defeated Sephiroth, and that was my first playthrough done. We finished it. Yes! <laughs> Why am I celebrating? So first things first, I decided to get Tifa's final weapon ability. I then used the beginning of chapter 16 to get to level 78 and also grind out some of the materia that I need for hard mode. Make sure you're using HP up, MP up, prayer and chakra. Those are important for hard mode because you cannot use items in hard mode. I also maxed out all my materia levels, which is what I had to do for Chadley's final combat simulator. And by doing that, I took on Bahamut. It was really easy because I did this on easy mode. And by defeating Bahamut, I got a trophy. I'll save you. I then went back to chapter 4 and did that stupid bike minigame and I got a kiss. I then had to do this really awkward trophy where there's actually two hidden quests in chapter 9 and it's really complex and dumb and you should just look it up online. I also missed this conversation with Johnny which gets me the Johnny experience trophy. No one should miss this trophy on their first playthrough but I did. So now that I've cleaned up all those missing trophies, it was time to start my hard mode playthrough. As long as you have leveled up your HP up, MP up materia, prayer materia, chakra materia, you should be golden for this. I have a couple fights that are kind of hard. The hard mode really makes you change your game plan up. Uh, the game becomes a lot more exciting. A lot of the bosses feel more intense, especially Air Buster. He's a fantastic boss fight. You really got hit, Tifa. Really? Wow. Do your thing. Oh, we win. First attempt. Let's go. Hell House is not fun. Why do I feel like I'm going to die? Just because I don't have MP. No. Oh, what the? What? Hello? Hello? Oh my god, no. Oh my god. No, leave me alone. No! Don't me! This is unbelievable. What did I say? What did I say? Since when do they show up? That's not fair. Wow. Really? Oh, that, oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Yes! Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. I've won. I've won. Aerith, kill him. Please. Bam it. Yes! Once I defeated the Hell House, I finally got this god-awful trophy getting all nine dresses. Oh my god, that's the trophy dress to the nines. That trophy is so bad. That's one of the worst trophies in the whole game. The rest of the game was a breeze. The only thing I had to worry about now was Chadley's combat simulator challenges in chapter 17. But the first challenge I had to do was the Monsters of Legend. If I beat this thing, that's a trophy, but also has an enemy skill, which is the final enemy skill. I need it, so I need to get hit by bad breath. And that might kill me, I'm not gonna lie. Throughout the game, I've equipped an enemy skill material to Barret. Whenever an enemy uses a certain ability, on Barrett, he gains it with that materia. So I have to get hit by bad breath. Here comes the trophy. We're all gonna die. Oh, master of mimicry. And he's dead. And that's the smell. So close, so close to the end. For this final challenge, I have to take on Shiva, Bat Chocobo, Leviathan, I hate Leviathan, Bahamut, and then the Proud Claw prototype. Oh my God, this is so freaking hard. Well, that went well. I couldn't even beat Shiva. Cool. Oh 
Oh, I don't know what to do. Ended up using a YouTube video as a guide to help me beat this challenge, and it's such a specific way to beat them. But it works, but it's like, wow, this is so, like, is this how I have to win? But it's really crazy. It's actually, I can't, I cannot imagine how to beat it legitimately, like, without the strategies. I just don't have a big brain. Go, 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 go. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Good effort. It's just running away. She's such a pussy. Oh, I'm dead. Tifa, do something. Do something! Oh, I did it. Wow. I finally beat her. Wow. What the f- What are you doing? Why are you all up in his business? Wow. 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 GG's. Come on. Come on. It didn't work. It didn't work. We're all dead. Again. I can't beat Leviathan. Like, I, I don't know. It just doesn't want to, like, the strategy doesn't work. What am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do? That's dead. You're dead. Oh, here he comes now. Oh, funny. Funny guy. Kills everyone. Thumbs down. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm screwed. Bahamut's gonna kill me. I'm dead. Uh -huh. Oh shit, Cam. We fucking have him. We have him! Cloud. Do focus thrust. Please. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Yes! Finally got his number. He's just. He's easy. And then. Arcane Ward on cloud and then lock on and then run away and then dodge and then go punch him in the face and yeah i was pausing like every now and then so i could remember what the step-by-step -step guide was to beat bahamut i had less than 24 hours until rebirth came out okay i just wanted to get the platinum so i could play rebirth uh soul drain uh blade burst oh my god please 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 Yes! Fucking did it. One more. I'm gonna die. Cloud. Do magic. Left leg. Uh. Uh, Aerith, you have all the MP in the world. Uh, I think I've won. I think I've won. I've won! I've done it! I've done it! Ultimate weapon. Yes! Oh, that took me like four hours to do. One more trophy and then I have the platinum. Thank you. Shout out to James Guides. He is the GOAT. It was time to fight Sephiroth. Oh my god. Ah, and then I had to kill him. This is the last thing standing in my way for the platinum. It. Let's do it. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No. Let's dance. Wow. That is a sad joke. That is sad. That makes me really so upset. Is he doing it again? Am I dead? I'm nearly dead. I know that. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm dead. What's he doing? Get down! <laughs> what dick? Oh, fuck. What can I do? Uh, I don't know. Cloud, do something. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! I did it! I've done it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yes! Let's kick his ass for good. Good, yeah. Kick his ass. 
Make it rain. Hardened veteran. Master of Fate. Oh, yes. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is out today. Oh, good timing. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Plenty of thumbs up for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth video to come out as soon as possible. Also, there's a video like here on my face if you want to watch it. If you want to watch more of my content, you know, like, feel free. Bye.